There's a strange detail in Mario 64 DS that you might not have noticed. After defeating the first boss of the game, Goomboss, he explodes into several smaller Goombas. But why is this? Well, hello, I'm Sam, and today I'll try and answer that. Goomboss isn't the only example of this behavior. In many games, when you defeat big Goombas, they split into two smaller Goombas. In fact, Goombas are the only large enemy to have this trait, implying that it's a trait exclusive to them. Well, it's my belief that big Goombas are just a fusion of normal Goombas. This mirrors how some real-world fungi such as the honey fungus behave where multiple mushrooms can fuse together. In fact, Goombas kind of resemble some varieties of honey fungus in appearance, although that might just be a coincidence. So if big Goombas are fusions of normal Goombas, could that mean that normal Goombas are just fusions of small Goombas? Well, in Bowser's Inside Story, we actually see tiny Goomba variants known as Goombules. These Goombules strongly resemble both Goombas and cells, which could imply that they are what make up Goombas. Micro Goombas could also play into this theory. In Mario Bros. 3, we see Micro Goombas inexplicably dropping from the wings of Para Goombas. If the Goomba Fusion theory is to be believed, then this could be explained by many Goombas separating from the larger conglomerate. If you want to know who Bowser Jr.'s mother is, click here. Stay hydrated, and I'll see you next time. Bye!